Hello and welcome to the Greater Demons Wilderness Slayer Guide. This is updated with the new Slayer Caves that just came out in 2020. And also the timestamps are below if you want to scroll through to relevant parts uh, that you just want to see. And lastly, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos or have criticisms that can make them better. So really quickly, this is a great task for experience in trying to get keys. And it's also one of the most common Wilderness Slayer tasks that's going to be assigned. So keep watching if you want to learn how to kill them most efficiently. So the first thing we'll be addressing is where you can actually kill them. There are three locations in the wild, the Demonic Ruins, the Lava Maze Dungeon, and the Wilderness Slayer Cave. The Wilderness Slayer Cave is, in my opinion, the safest and fastest way to kill greater demons, so you should certainly be killing them here. They're in level 29 wilderness, so you can still use a 30 and under teleport, such as a Royal Seed Pot or an Amulet of Glory, and they're in multi, so it's a very good place for cannoning and, again, getting really great experience. The fastest way to get there is going to be by using a games necklace, teleporting to Corporeal Beast, and running northeast through the Boneyard, going northeast until you see the stairs going down. As soon as you go through the stairs, you'll be right there next to the Greater Demons. Regarding inventory, there are a few key things that you should keep in mind. One of them is cannon and cannonballs. This task will take you a very long time uh, as you often get at least 100 and up to 150 greater demons per task. So this will be a very long task and you should just certainly use a cannon. Next, you should be using combat boosting potions such as super strength potions, uh, super combat potions, or even range potions if you decide to use something like a blowpipe. Next, you'll be wanting to protect from melee while you're killing them. So you'll want at least a few super restores or prayer potions. I recommend somewhere from like five to 10, depending on uh, your experience and how long you think you'll be there. Next thing you'll want is a looting bag. You absolutely want a looting bag because they drop a lot of decent drops that you want to pick up. Next, you'll, you can consider bringing a special weapon like a dragon dagger. Uh, you'll definitely need a teleport there, so bring in your games necklace. Uh, lastly, you could bring a stamina potion if you wanted, but at 48 agility, I did not need it. And then you just want to fill your inventory with uh, good food after that, and you have the option to also bring some serodome and bruise if you are worried about getting killed by PKers. One last note is you could also bring full dragon hide if you wanted to try to survive an attack from PKers. While I was killing them, I did not run into any PKers here, but of course that's always something that uh, you have to be on the lookout for. So if you want to be super defensive, you could bring full dehyde as well as some extra serod serodome and bruise to increase your likelihood of surviving as much as possible. Next, we're going to be talking about what gear you should be wearing. So since we're using a prayer-based approach, you want to wear gear that obviously boosts your prayer as much as possible. And you want to bring a maximum of four good items that you wouldn't want to lose on death. So for example, my setup would be a Dragon Sim, a Berserker Ring imbued, and a Slayer Helm imbued. Those are my three items I wouldn't want to lose, and the rest of the items are easy to replace. And one note is that a, an Arty Cloak is quite good because it has a prayer boost, and it is uh, basically free to replace. You also have the option to bring a bracelet of slaughter if you really enjoy this task and you want to extend it. It's also worth noting that the greater demons have no defensive weaknesses so you can attack with whatever style and whatever weapon you want. Lastly, just to show you exactly how to kill them, all you want to do is lay your cannon in the middle of them, uh, leave auto retaliate on, keep your potions up, and just do as much damage as possible essentially and you just keep an eye out for their good drops and it's a very simple and straightforward task. And again, it should be quite uh, quite good experience and you should get quite a few keys while killing these guys. So usually I also include a safe way to do the task. But as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, um, this is actually the lowest level in the wilderness that you can kill them. And if you go to the other locations, in my opinion, they're actually more dangerous because you have pretty much zero chance of escaping a PK or because you're so much higher in the wilderness and you can't easily escape. If you're killing them here, you can at least run south through the dungeon, or you could possibly teleport before um, PKers teleblock you. So I just recommend killing them here uh, with, any, with any goal in mind. If you have this task, you should just be killing them here, in my opinion. 
So that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any criticisms, let me know in the comments of how I can improve. Uh, other than that, please like and subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching.